the Hellguard against him. It is as you foretold. The Hellguard will fall. Angel of Death, serve me one last time. <laughs> Daddy's home. She mistook me for someone else. She loved him. And I believe that he loved her. Long ago. Before this. Foolishly, he chose duty above all, and died for it. And you do the same. Heaven hunts you. Hell hates you. All of creation cares not whether you live or die. Join me more. Like a great sword, I will raise you up. And our enemies will shatter against us. The spoils of a thousand victories. Yours. Or serve the justice of a corrupt council. The creator who abandons his most faithful. I offer you this choice, horseman. Would you serve in heaven? Or rule in hell? Choose what once a coward did not. Oh boy, Abaddon. Here we go. First thing I am going to do, I am going to put these where I can use them oh okay now I have two of those I might as well use this as well okay I'm ready let's do this I am about to die obviously I think that's pretty damn clear well what the hell I meant to do this. There we go. May take a while to figure out what exactly I have to do here. I may have to use, uh. I may have to use Ruin for this, actually. Come on. There we go. Aha! That's what I have to do. Look at all these combos. Ha! Ah. Take that. Oh jeez, okay, he's gonna change it up a little. Change it up he shall. Ok, 
Okay, I don't think he's gonna stomp the ground like that again until I do this phase again. Come on, you gotta be careful. Okay, he missed, which means we'll do this again. Okay. It's being a little more tricky about this. little harder to hit. I'll give him credit for that. Come on. Come here. There we go. There we go. Get off. It's done with that though. Looks like this fight is mostly going to be used with, uh, Ruin. I do not have a problem with that, though. Ouch. There we go. Get off. Slash him in the face. I'm not doing very good with combos anymore. Oh, no, nope, doing it again. Oh no, he got me! I pressed the wrong button. That's cool. I just have to try it again. Well, I can't try again now, obviously, but... Definitely try it again though after this phase. There we go. Press B to action command. Woohoo! Oh, but it's not over yet. Armageddon Blade. He is blocking my guard, though. Okay. Okay, nope. I have to use the block counter a few times. And I gotta use the X button.
What the hell? You can't change the rules. Oh wait, you're a dick. Of course you can. <laughs> Should have realized that. You know what? Whatever. What? Doing this again. Watch. The council has said you will not be. Cannot end like this. I disagree. Oh god! Take that. You have taught me something, Avatar. Sometimes duty must be cast aside to do what must be done. It is not for duty that I kill you now. Because of your precious honor. They let you take the fall. They knew you'd butcher everyone involved to clear your name. And you did. No! Patience, whore. I've got some for you, too. I'll take that. If it were to get broken, you might get ideas. Like not going back in your little cage. It's tragic, really. You had freedom in the palm of your hand, and you lost it. <laughs> That's so damn funny. Even you wouldn't laugh at your own funeral. I'm laughing at yours. Next sacramentum. The death oath is complete. Get away! 
Do. That's why you spared me. No. Then why? Because I would not have the last of Heaven's honor die with its champion. All debts are repaid. The duty I uphold, it may call me to raise my sword against you. And if that day comes, I will hesitate. You will be hunted. The White City for certain. The Council and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone. And there we go, guys. That is the end of Darksiders. I hope you guys have enjoyed this project. I know I have. Uh, I've said this many times before. I know this project wasn't a fan favorite for my viewers and subscribers. But you know what? I wanted to take a chance on this. I really love this game. And I wanted to share it with you guys. And I definitely do not regret playing this game. Not at all. I had a lot of fun with it. I know there were a lot of people who thought this game was very interesting as well. So I hope I at least got those people interested in the Darksiders franchise. Because uh, truth be told, the future of the Darksiders series is actually kind of unknown. They did make a sequel, Darksiders 2. Uh, the sequel is on all platforms at this point. It's even on the Wii U. Uh, that was one of the uh, first games for the Wii U actually. Which I thought was really interesting because Darksiders 1 is not on the Wii U or any Nintendo platform. But the sequel is, I kind of wish Nintendo would have done some kind of, uh, kind of, uh, release of the first game as well, because they're kind of doing the same thing with Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2, so you would think they would have done something with that. But yeah, um, that's going to be it for the first game. People have been asking me if I am going to be covering the sequel, Darksiders 2. I am, but I have to be a little honest with you guys, I have not played the ga second game yet. I wanted to actually get through a playthrough of it by myself before I did any Let's Plays on it, so it's going to be a while before I get around to that. There's a lot of other games on my backlog, and uh, this is a very long game as it is, and I don't want to get into anything else so soon after this Let's Play. Plus, there's a lot of other games I want to get into as well, so I kind of want to take a break from the Darksiders franchise just so I can kind of uh, cover some other games as well. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, the future of Darksiders is kind of uncertain. Obviously, there are four horsemen of the apocalypse. War, death, famine, and pestilence. Uh, War is obviously the hero of this game. Death is the hero of the second game. So there are two other games that they could potentially make out of the Darksiders franchise. However, Vigil Games, which uh, created this game, is no longer in business. Uh, when THQ went bankrupt, they had to crack down on a lot of their uh, companies and uh, Vigil Games no longer works for them and the Darksiders license was actually sold to Platinum Games which is actually kinda cool because they own Bayonetta, they own I believe Wonderful 101 uh, let me just verify that very quickly, I do have the page up uh, yeah Wonderful 101 uh, the Legend of Korra game, and uh, Mad World, Infinite Space, a lot of other games out there as well. So um, I'm actually really interested to see if they're going to do anything with the series. Uh, they definitely could. They've worked on a lot of games in this type of genre, so they could do a really good job with it. And I would like to see a future for the series, because I really enjoyed this game. I hope I really enjoy the second game as well, and uh, you know, I had a lot of fun with it, so... Uh, that's hopefully something that will happen in the future. But aside from that, I don't really have a lot to say here. Uh, that's going to be pretty much it for Darksiders. It's going to be starting a new project next week. 
to take the place of this project. I'm not going to let you guys know what it is. Uh, definitely expect something, in terms of the content, something along the same level. But I think it's definitely something more people recognize. It's a series that I also really, really love. I'm going to get into more of that later. But, you know, you don't have to wait very long. Just like, what, like five more days. So it'll be here before you know it. But yeah, that is what I'm going to be working on starting next week on Tuesday. Hope you guys are looking forward to that as well. It's going to be part of a uh, little thing I'm trying out here. A month of horror, so to speak. I kind of talked about this in the Star Warrior Cup videos, and I should have a post on my website soon, or already at this point, where I kind of uh, go into that more. But I am doing kind of a uh, horror-themed month to celebrate October and Halloween and all of that. Uh, it's not going to be like... I'm not going to be doing just like jump scare, like play in the dark kind of games or anything like that. The games I'm playing are... Well, I like to determine classics, so hopefully uh, that will uh, that will ease your pain if you're thinking, oh my god, Slim Kirby is going to get in a whole jump scare thing, blah blah blah. Not really, no, definitely not. I'm definitely sticking towards more, uh, you know, the lighthearted, platforming, cartoony stuff of my channel. But this is something new. This is something I'm new. I really wanted to try out. And the, the games I'm going to be playing are really, really, really favorite games of mine, so I hope you guys enjoy that for what it is. But um, that's what's coming up. Don't really have anything else to say. Uh, there are achievements for this game. I actually do not have all the achievements yet because some of the ones I have left are just basically the achievements you have to spend a lot of time grinding to get. But for those who are interested, some of the achievements, the majority of them are just, like, storyline achievements, like, beat this boss, collect this item, uh, beat the game on this difficulty mode, that kind of thing. So nothing really too out of the blue. Uh, but there are also a lot of milestone achievements, like, uh, kill this many demons, uh, open this many treasure chests. Uh, there was one achievement that was, like, ride a hundred miles on ruin. And uh, I actually got that achievement by cheating. I, uh, I actually uh, put a rubber band on my controller and made it so uh, I was riding Ruin and then I'd just like, walk around a wide open in the Ashlands to uh, actually get that achievement. I know it's kind of cheating, but I, I couldn't help it. That was an achievement. I just didn't really want to sit around for hours just holding the control stick in one or two directions. So that's essentially what I did for that one. And uh, the only achievements I don't really have are I haven't beaten the game on Apocalyptic Difficulty yet. Uh, apocalyptic Difficulty is really just what it is. It's just a step up from normal mode, which is what I played in this playthrough. Enemies are tougher. I think they do more damage. There are probably more enemies in all these skirmish rooms. That's really all it is, honestly. Uh, another achievement I have is obviously grinding all of your weapons to their max level and then also getting all of the weapon skills from Volgrim. Uh, that's just essentially me going around hack and slashing for God knows how long until I get it. So that's just something I'll get before too long anyway. And uh, one other achievement that I haven't gotten yet that's kind of annoying is whenever you're, when you're doing that angelic mount sequence before you get to the first dungeon... You have to kill like 160 enemies, and I haven't gotten that one yet. That one's really, really hard to do because the controls are such a departure from what the game actually is. It's kind of like a very, very short Star Fox sequence, but it's just, I don't know, for some reason I haven't been able to get that. It's a really difficult achievement. I think it's one of the uh, achievements that not many players have gotten unless they just like grind for God knows how long to get it. But those are some extra things you can do in the Darksider series. If you are finished with the game but still want more, there's still definitely some things you can do. So that is definitely on the table. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. The credits should be ending in a few minutes. They've been going on for a long time, I realize. So sorry about that. I hate when games have such long credit sequences. But I'm going to leave it at that. Let you guys listen to the rest of this uh, musical track and then watch the credits if you're that interested. But... Uh, this has been Darksiders. This has been Slim Kirby. Hope you guys enjoyed once again, and I'll see you guys later for some of my other projects. Later, folks.